Well, it's Thursday. I'm getting set up at the market. It's play day every Thursday in the mornings when I get here. I got about 10 more minutes to go set up for me. I got something I want to show you. The guy that makes my t-shirts, I got him to make me some magnetic signs. I got one on the door on each side and I got one on the back. Okay, stand by. We'll see if we have any action today. 103. I just got my first knife. Got carries it on his side. Like Daniel Boone. German stainless. So a timber wolf. Handcrafted in where you think? China. Got a big package in the in the mail today. I had no idea what it was, but once I opened it up, I knew, of course, what it was. But then I remembered. Light came on. And said, "Oh yeah, I remember something about this. Check this ticket out right here. You're gonna like it." If I can figure out how to get it open again. It came from Baltimore, Maryland. Now that's a sifter. That's a bread basket. I know what that is, like the stores have. That's got it trimmed down. It's got noodles on the side of it. It's got a handle. And a string to pull it with. I don't know what that is for though. I guess it's the. I'm gonna to have to ask what that is. It's a dog leash, or a cat leash, dog I would think, with a stainless steel eye bolt. Maybe for my scoop. Mm -hmm. But it's got that clam wire on top of it, that rubber coated. I call it aquaculture wire. Yeah, that's a taquito right there. Taquito, I'm telling you. Fine taquito. Thank you, Mr. Scott. You're a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> wow. I'll have to give that a try here in a day or so. The damn wind will ever stop blowing. I'm waiting for a report now from Kenny. I mean, from Denny and Kenny. They went to the land. Of, I think they went to the land of Nala. This morning, they crack of dawn, like it's 6 o'clock. But I haven't heard anything yet. Maybe it's on my computer when I get home. I just got back from the week, as you'll see, knife gig. One meager knife. That's bleak. Bleak on the yellow and bleak on the knife. But Saturday's coming and Friday's coming. And I think I'm going to go to right now. Me and Jack, we take a walk in the afternoon. And Jack ain't been to the beach in a couple couple three weeks we I mean we walked on the beach yesterday but not with our detector so I think me and Jack are going to take a little detecting spin here in a few minutes just to get in our daily exercise and see how that goes because it is a nice day as you can see it's a little breezy for working in the water any place but it's a nice 70s kind of day grass is all cut I like it stand by thanks again Scott I'll see you later buddy I didn't go far enough into the piece of paper. I thought that was just a, scene, a piece of note saying thank you. But inside, underneath all that, there's the directions, so to speak. It says, why I designed the float. The float is non-magnetic, one. The float is lightweight, two. The float can save your life if needed. I like that part. Float can be, the float can carry your scoop when in deep water. Now, pretty cool. Pretty cool, Scott. Thank you for all you do for the hobby. Uh, 
All I'm doing now is buying damn bananas. <laughs> Stand by. I'm getting ready to take Jack out. Well, me and Jack are going for our first spin this fall. The dogs were allowed back on the beach, you know, about two weeks ago. We took him for a walk yesterday, so we figured we'd go for a spin today. Stand by. A lot of grass on the beach. Some uh, cheerleaders. Stand by. I see a Bowser running loose. Only five cold ships today. The container ship going in, and you can see it sneaking by that red ship. It's coming into the harbor with full of containers. We got our first target. A fishing bait. Looks like something took a big bite out of it. The lead head is popping out right there, you see it? It was a deep sucker. I got the simple, I got the goddamn sensitivity. Minus three. I wasn't planning on digging any monster holes. Ah. I brought the lightweight Stava, the V5. Hoping I wasn't going to dig any monster holes. You know how it goes though. Stand by. Someone's got a hole saying net set right here on the beach. See it starts right here. Runs way out there for two or three hundred yards. You can't see the buoys out that far. It makes a turn to the left towards the tunnel. There'll be two or three more sets of anchors on both sides. It hooks in like a fish hook. You let it set a day or two and then they haul it back in from that end there until it all comes in a pocket right along in here. And they bail the fish out of the middle if there are any fish. It's uh, a hit and a miss business, but sometimes it's very lucrative. Very lucrative. Uh, we found some treasure today. Look at that. What do you think, Jack? Get it. That's your favorite thing? Huh? Look at it. Get it. Look at it. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can have it now. I got the picture of it. Come on. You bullhead. You bullhead. It's like 18 scoops. That's a shade deeper than I planned on digging today. Look at that. Nice ticket. Well, Keithy, my friend in Alaska, I got the fanciest zipper pull ever. Look at this taquita. Now, I found a lot of zipper pulls. This is a classic. Yes, sir, Keithy, my friend. You need one like this. A roundup. <laughs> I guess the best of it, I know the best of it is the tennis ball. And we've got two pieces of gray matter and 45 cent. One meager penny. Uh, I'll add the report from Denny from this morning, him and the guru. It was bleak. And I'll, I think I got a picture of a mercury dime that Beaver found yesterday on the bay. I'll put that at the end. I think that was, I think he found a Beaver above me, a mercury dime. It was, he went on the bay yesterday and it was slow on the bay. So everything's saying it in bad. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. Stand by. Good luck to everybody.